So originally this system was developed as a flip chart, so the idea would be that the pages are, are basically white and the system uh, rotates in portrait mode as well. Uh, what we've done here is sort of adapt it to the needs of the school of the built environment by, by bringing in these large images. And it already, the system has a sort of inbuilt advantage of being able to display quite a bit of simultaneous information and in quite a non-linear fashion as well, because you just manage the slides on the left. So at the moment we have approximately 16 slides and they're in no particular order and so I can move them by sort of dragging them around and they, they are, they are reordered on the left. And the three slides that we're projecting on that route um, are the three, three slides in the first three positions sort of surrounded by grey. So if I take out those three slides and just drag them into any sort of area in the ether, I can now drag any slide in in any non-linear fashion I want. I can drag that into the middle there, and that slide will now appear there. Um, so that's how effectively you're dragging slides in, in a, in a sort of, it's not like a PowerPoint, you don't have to stick to an order, you can bring in the information in, in, in whatever context is appropriate. The next thing that is, is useful um, and that you'd, you'd sort of expect that you're using is the sort of annotation facility, so that it's all operated through the pen. Um, there's a palette of different uh, pen sizes and colours, so having chosen the thickness and the colour, you simply write on the screen um, by moving the pen. Um, the pens on the far right are actually highlighters, so they're sort of semi-transparent, so that achieves a slightly different um, effect. You can see things through them. Um, and there's also an eraser tool, which will erase the pen marks. It will not damage the picture underneath. Um, what you can also do is use the eraser tool by simply clicking the button on the pen. So that enables fairly fast, quick fire uh, annotations to be made and then deleted and then more made and then deleted. Um, since it's effectively a graphics package, what you can also do is, um, is, is select things um, and, and move them. You can also enlarge um, and, and again continue to move. So that's really the, the fundamentals of what we'd be expecting you to do, do with the system. Um, I think the plan is when you do your presentations that they are in portrait mode, which is still the case. Yeah. So the difference when, it, uh, maybe if I close this presentation, well, in, in portrait mode, um, I'm not interested in saving my annotations. In portrait mode, um, the system actually has more pages available to be displayed at any one time. So that allows an even greater number of simultaneous pieces of data to be shown and um, brought in, and, and uh, the uh, user interface is basically the same. Uh, and this is where you start to see how we originally envisaged the system just as a sort of um, replacement for the flip chart, for the paper flip chart, and we envisaged that those would be the equivalent of the pages that you hang on the wall. So does that cover yeah. roughly what we sort of mean? Exactly. And really what the original expectation was, I know some other people have had similar ideas and we're talking now about maybe putting video on this wall yeah. for you to use as well, but what the original expectation was is that you would construct some sort of portrait slides, probably portrait um, PowerPoint, and bring them in and we can put them into Thunder for you to use uh, for your presentations. Um, well. They don't have to be fastened. Have a try. Write in Greek or something, um, Palestinian. Um, okay. so what it does is <laughs> actually, I can co what uh -huh. I'm going to do is effectively kind of connect to this system using a laptop. And it takes screenshots from the laptop. So it can be anything that's shown on the laptop. So it, it would be easier to use PowerPoint because I just full screen the PowerPoint and then import the full slide. Um, How did you do that? You selected it. It was a JPEG. But effectively, the, the idea of the system is to be available over the internet too, which is what we're sort of taking advantage of. And then you can erase that by touching that. Yeah, I did.